Hey everyone, today I wanted to film my skincare video. I have some products to show you that I use strictly in the morning and then some that I use just at night. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the morning products. And the first thing I do when I wake up is I wash my face. And the one I use is by Clean and Clear. And it's the Essentials Foaming Facial Cleanser. This can be found at Target, Walmart, any drugstore to sell Clean and Clear and it's under $5. It claims that it washes away problem causing dirt, oil, and makeup without over drying. That's really the key part for me that is that it doesn't over dry because I have sensitive and dry skin. So since I use this before I put my makeup on, I don't want any product that will cause me to have even more dry skin than I already have. So I really like that because it doesn't give me dry skin. And then also it helps wash off any of the makeup that my eye makeup remover missed the night before. And a little added bonus is it smells really good too. It smells kind of fruity. So I really recommend this if you have sensitive skin and just kind of want a face wash to kind of wake you up and just clean your face before the day starts. Something that I like to use with that face wash is my Sonic Dermabrasion. Basically it's like a Clarisonic. It has two different settings, one for non-sensitive skin and then one for sensitive skin. It goes off for a minute and you just kind of buff the product into your face and I would use something sensitive like this. It just helps get a deeper clean, really get out any dirt that's deep in your pores and also kind of exfoliates a little bit too. So I really recommend this. I've had it for a little bit over a year I think and it's still going strong. So if I can find it online anywhere I'll definitely link it down below for you. And then the last product that I use in the morning before I put my makeup on is also by Clean and Clear. You'll see I have a lot of products by them. Um, and it's the Dual Action Moisturizer. It's for oil-free and it moisturizes your dry skin and it also treats and helps prevent pimples. So I like that it has that little added bonus in there. It's not just strictly a moisturizer. And it really does actually moisturize well. I know I used to use the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. So that's a little bit of a higher end lotion. That was $25 I believe. This is under $5. And I think it does, you know, the same exact job if not better because it also helps prevent any breakouts from happening. So I really recommend this product if you're looking for a good moisturizer. Now in the morning I really don't do that much to my skin. It's kind of just to help freshen up my skin and just clean it a little bit. At night is where I really do um, kind of my routine. So first I'll take off any makeup that I have on. Um, I only use baby oil to take off my eye makeup so I didn't feel like including that in the video because it really doesn't do anything good for your skin. It just helps take off um, your eye makeup. So I have three different products to show you guys and I use them not all at once. Different days I'll use different things. If I want a really intense clean, I'll use the Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Control Cleanser. Looks like this. This is a really strong um, medicated cleanser. It has, I think, ben yeah, it's benzyl peroxide. So that's like the main acne fighting medication in it. The one thing I don't like about it is the smell is really strong. Um, when I put it on my face, I have to like close my eyes wicked tight because the fumes will make my eyes water. That's how like um, strong the smell is. So that's the only thing I don't like about it. But I do love it because it really helps clear your pimples. If I have a breakout or if I feel like I'm going to get one, I use this and it's either gone the next day or it helps just prevent something overall. So I really recommend looking into this product. Um, sold the same places that all the other Clean and Clear products are at. I'm not sure the specific price on this, but I can look it up for you and I'll list the it down below. next product I'm going to show you is if my skin is feeling extra dry and really feels like it just has all these like dead skin cells. And that's an exfoliator. I recommend using one of these probably twice or three times a week depending on how sensitive your skin is. This is by the True Blue Spa line, which is sold at Bath & Body Works. It retails for $12, but they do have coupons once in a while, and also, um, like, the ones that I got were buy one, get one free. So there's ways around having to pay the full price. And this is called the Apricot and White Tea Supremely Smoothing Face Scrub. And I'll just read the back for you. It says, what a smooth operator you are. This lightly foaming scrub combines naturally exfoliating crushed 
apricot seeds, an antioxidant-rich white tea to revive dull skin and leave it feeling invigorated and super smooth. That's one of the main things I like about this is it does foam up a little bit so it's not as harsh on your skin and doesn't feel so much kind of like that sandy texture like other exfoliators can have. Also the scent is really light on this so if you're um, sensitive to scented products I really recommend this. Now the last product I'm going to show is something that I would also use a couple times a week depending on how I'm feeling and it's also by the True Blue Spa line. And it is the Purifying Peel-Off Face Mask, and it's in the scent Blackberry. So I'll read the back of this as well. It's formulated with Blackberry, known for its super antioxidant purposes, and tree, tree tea oil, known for its purifying powers. This black face mask instantly peels away pore clogging dirt, oil, and debris to help keep your skin looking and feeling flawless. So I mainly use this for my pores to help bring out any blackheads or whiteheads. Um, what I like about a face mask is if I'm feeling like just targeting it on one section of my face, I can just put it on my nose or just on my chin where my pores are larger than the rest of my face. I don't have to put it all over, but if I want to, I have that option as well. And you just leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes and then you peel it off and it really feels like you have a new layer of skin. This product smells really good too. Like it said, it smells like blackberries. The only scary thing is it is black, so it kind of makes you look a little weird when you have it on. But I've been using this for a couple months now, and I really see a significant difference in my face after I use this. So I really recommend having um, a peel-off face mask to use a couple times a week or maybe even once a week if your skin is that sensitive. So those are all the skincare products that I have to show you guys today. I really hope you learned a little bit um, and maybe look into some of the products. I really honestly believe that all of them are great in their own way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon.